Interior. Huey 1. Polynesian turns to the pilot. Return to staging area. We have to reload. Exterior, exterior, exterior ruins. Rambo cradles Co, whose blouse is drenched with blood. It runs over his hands as he holds her helplessly. She is as white as the jungle orchid. Her eyes focus slowly on Rambo. Almost inaudible. Dinky Dow Rambo. Rambo is rocking her, will, willing the life to stay in her. His expression anguished. John, my name is John. Co, very weak. It doesn't hurt. Why doesn't it hurt? Interior, Huey 1. Polyushin coordinates the air operation. Polyushin, Vietnamese subtitle. Air 2, circle and holding pattern, Russian subtitle. Air 3, are you in position? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Interior, exterior, M MIL, MI24. In the spacious main cockpit, which overlooks the lower weapons bay blister, Podolsky is seated with a Russian pilot. Um, just a little note here that Podolsky is spelt without the I in the other script, the later one by Sly. Um, it has the I, and in um, David Morrell's book, it has the I, but here uh, in the James Cameron version, it's Podolsky. You know, rather than Podolsky. But, you know, I call him Podolsky anyway. Sometimes I'll call him Podolsky. Sometimes I'll call him Podolsky. Sometimes, you know, you get the drift. Anyway, pilot. Russian subtitle. Ready, air command. Polyushin, voiceover. Russian subtitle. Begin your run. The pilot turns to Podolsky. Or Podolsky. <laughs> Russian subtitle. How many men are down there? Podolsky. Replies distantly. One. <laughs> That's pretty good, you know, like, how many, how many were going after? Just one. The pilot looks at him strangely. The massive assault helicopter no noses down and thunders forward across the jungle. All this for one man. Exterior ruins, very close on Rambo, rocking gently. Rambo says, you're going to love it there. It'll be great. We can do what we want, you and me. Go to the beach with the Nguyen. Watch him riding his surfboard. Ko's eyes are glazed. Half open. She is gone. <coughs> Rambo sobs. Somehow this one tragedy renders all the others pale. Rambo continuing. Oh God. He kisses her mouth fiercely. Trying to make her live. To infuse her cooling flesh with some sort of his vast will. Interior. MIL. MI-24. Pilot. Russian subtitle. 500 meters. Final approach. Exterior. Ruins. Rambo lays Ko with infinite gentleness in the lap of the stone Buddha. In the lap is one slightly cupped hand, palm upward, stripped of foliage by the minigun. Ko lies in the palm, barely fitting it. Single snipe. Single sniping rounds whack occasionally near Rambo. He is oblivious to them. Rambo removes the tiny Buddhist prayer medallion from around her neck and puts it on. Straightens her clothing. Looks up at the broad stone countenance. Can you imagine that? Like, they're shooting at him and he's just standing there ignoring them. Uh, it goes back to, like, those old Japanese movies. You know, he, like, placing the body down, making sure it's... Christine checking the clothes, putting on the medallion. As the bullets are whizzing past, this is amazing here. This is like one of those badass fucking scenes like, you know what, Rambo's ready for you now, you know? <laughs> um, its expression is, as always, enigmatic. Enigmatic, meaning the uh, medallion. He turns as the assault chopper approaches, running dead at him. Two long metal cylinders detach from the stub wings and drop, beginning their characteristic tumbling. Rambo, odd, palm, like napalm. He spins and runs, leaving his rifle. Exterior, rainforest. Rambo slashes through the trees like a madman, running with everything he has, 
Behind him, the napalm canisters hit the ground at the edge of the ruins. An enormous fireball blossoms through the jungle. The canister's inertia carries them forward, spewing 20-meter-long arcs of flame. The inferno engulfs the Buddhas and rolls forward towards the trees, silhouetting the tiny running figure of Rambo. Just as the firestorm reaches him, he delves at a dead run. He dives at a dead run off the embankment into the rushing mountain stream about five meters wide. Underwater sequence. Rambo dives to the bottom as a sunbreak canopy of fire rushes across the surface with a muffled roar. The stream is about two meters deep and is swiftly flowing. The napalm on the surface lights the bottom orange desperate of daylight. He seems suspended in a fiery maelstorm. Moving with Rambo's figure, we dive at giddy speed over the torturous strembled like some weird amusement park ride. Rambo tumbles over and between smooth boulders. He strains to hold his breath as the fire diminishes above. Then it is gone. He is clear. Suddenly the rock, the rocks end, dropping away. Exterior, ravine waterfall. Rambo tumbles clear of the falling water as he drops down the face of the cataract seen earlier. He hits the surface of the pool with a tremendous splash. Ang <coughs> sorry. Angle on water. Boiling with turbulence as he surfaces, gasping. He weakly skulls at the surface as the current carries him along. Above on the escarpment, a firestorm rages, lighting up the jungle. The Buddha is at the heart of the Holocaust, reminiscent of a self- Emoliating monk, Ko's pyre is magnificent. That must have been a sight. That would have been a really truly awesome sight to see in a Rambo movie. Exterior, brackish estuary. Estuary, sorry. The pool at the base of the cataract empties into a swamp swampland near the C A River. Rambo lets the increasingly tor torpid flow carry him until he catches sight of a familiar object, the abandoned sampan off the river of the river bandits, still moored among the huge tree roots. Exterior, swamp, sampan. Rambo clambers aboard and goes into the cabin. Still in its wooden locker is the RPG-7 rocket grenade launcher and a rack of rockets in a carrying pack. With rapid movement, Rambo dons the pack and picks up the launcher, moves to the stern, pulls hard on the starter rope of the filthy outboard. Across the estuary, one of the Hueys is moving over the trees, getting closer. The, mo the motor starts on a third pole. Interior, exterior, Huey 2. The Viet pilot banks, motioning his door gutter. Below them is the sampan, chugging across the estuary. The pilot descends as the gunner opens fire. The 30 caliber slugs riddle the sampan, sending splinters flying. It explodes. Its incredible horde of junk hurled flaming all around into the swamp. The Huey low lowers further, rotor wash whipping the water into turning forth. The Viet scan the debris, spotting a floating body. Angle out water level. As the corpse rolls slowly over, it is Kin, the crazy bandit leader. Exterior, marsh nearby, water level, camera pan at water level. The Huey hovering 40 meters away begins to turn toward us. Something rises from the surface scum and close, FG, among the gnarled tree roots. A hulking figure, dripping water and mud and strands of swamp weed. It's Rambo. The launcher tube across his shoulder. Reverse. Close on Rambo. As he whips filthy water out of his eyes. And returns to the scope site. Blinking. Taking his time. Wider. The Huey M60 opens up. Walking a parade of water sprouts toward him. Across the river. Rambo fires. With a tremendous backblast. The rocket leaps out. A fiery arrow. And strikes the Huey square in the canopy. Flash. Crack! The Huey drops into the swamp. It rotors, twisting up and flying off. The fuel tank explodes. 
Rambo pivots, reloading. He takes aim of and fires again. The rocket roars into the rainforest, uh, the blast sending approaching soldiers scattering. He reloads, fires again, flinching away from the rocket exhaust. His expression is grim. His, his movements are methodical. He pivots again, fires. Rounds start hitting around him. He holds position, reloads, fires. Beyond the trees off the river road, the troop trucks are parked. Nearby is a refueling truck for the helicopters. Rambo rock, Rambo's rocket makes a direct hit. A fireball blasts up and out, seeming to fill the jungle. Interior, Huey 1. Polyution sees the smoke rising from the carnage ahead. He returns with the minigun reloaded. He motions the pilot to ho hover over the partially submerged record, uh, wreckage of the Huey. Exterior, swamp, whip panning with Rambo as he sprints along the horizontal trunk of a fallen tree. He vaults off the end, catches a skid of the hovering Huey with one hand. Polly Ushin's door gunner swings his sling-mounted free 60 around to bear. Too late, Rambo's hand shoots up, catches him, pulls him out. Interior, Huey. The pilot feels the weight shift and looks back, seeing Rambo on the skin. He pulls pitch hard. The Huey climbs, arcing radically. Exterior, Huey. Rambo slips, dangles. He crashes through the upper branches of a tree as the Huey climbs, banking in tight arc. The rain forest rolls beneath his dangling legs. He heaves himself up. Interior, Huey. Polyushin lurches out of his seat. He spins in time to see a filthy, bloody, and intense looking, a very intense looking Rambo clamoring in the door, in the gun door. He rushes Rambo with a kick, but Rambo ducks and swings the M60 door gun on its mount, blocking the Russian. The two lock eyes and square off, crouching in low compartments. The pilot turns around and gapes in amazement, uh, amazement allowing the craft to side, side slip. Polyushin lunges at the Hue as the Huey pitches wildly. Rambo blocks in a sweeping Shao Lung Chung roundhouse, sending a f in a fierce hammer punch to Polyushin's face. They trade blows and blocks furiously, finally grappling like wrestlers. They crash together into the wall of the mi by the minigun uh, ammo canister. The Huey yaws and recovers. Open space roars outside the strain near doors, trying to desperately to maintain footing on the, you know, pitching floor. Polyushin goes half out the door, but clings tenaciously, surging back inside. He hammers into Rambo, slamming him mercilessly back. A vicious kick drops Rambo. The Black Beret grabs his hair and hurls him two-handed towards the door. Rambo desperately catches the handles of the door gun stopping his plunge into space. His weight swings the gun around in its sling, pointing it into the ship, completely outside the helicopter. Rambo hangs from the handle with one hand, pulls the bolt with the other, and drills a long burst into Polyushin at point-blank range, blasting him far out the door in an explosive spray of blood. The pilot, terrified as Rambo advances on him, turns terrified as Rambo advances on him. Rambo eases up beside him, slipping his hand onto the collective stick. Reaching across, he opens the pilot's door and flings him out. Exterior marsh. A figure tumbles from the low-flying Huey and splashes into the estuary.